Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create the spinning effect in Photoshop. Okay, first step, I'm going to recolor the background. Uh, I'm going to go with the this uh, paint bucket tool, click on, select the color, go and click on this. I'm going to go with black, click OK and just click here on the background. It's going to paint, paint it black. Now I'm going to select the type tool, which is located right here. Click on it. And go up here where you can see this black square, click on and I'm going to go with a white color. Click OK and click on the screen, type in whatever you want. From here, I'm going to press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. By the way, this is the Mango Grotesque font. I'm going to, as you can see it here, Mango Grotesque Bold. This is a free typeface, you can download it and use it. I'm going to press and hold Alt and drag it up. This is this way it creates a new copy. I'm gonna also press and hold Alt to drag it down. So I got three copies. Okay, I'm gonna go to the layers, press and hold Shift, select all three types, right click, convert a smart object. Okay, from here I'm gonna go to the filter, blur gallery and select spin blur. And this is gonna spin it. So as you can see this little circle here, we're gonna increase it, I'm gonna go with this diamond select the diamond and just move it. I'm gonna move it all the way out like this. You also can go with this little circle and make it, what does this do? Actually, oh, check it out. So this is basically, okay, so if you select these little circles in here, this is gonna make the effect more transparent. If I scale it down, you know, it's gonna be more transparent outside and in the center, it's gonna be still, you're gonna see that effect. I go, I gotta go all the way out. I gotta select these outer circles and I gotta make this effect more wide. And now here's the interesting part. You can scale up this by here, going here and you know, this is gonna rotate it even more. It's gonna spin it even more actually and make it really crazy if you increase it, see that? And I gotta go down to around 9%, nine degrees, sorry. So we, it's still clean and understandable what, what is written, but the outside is, you know, it's getting more spinny. And from here, I'm going to click on OK. So yeah, this is how you achieve this trick. Also, you can apply some really nice noise effect. So I'm going to go to the layers. I'm going to select the text, press and hold shift, select the background, right click, convert to smart object, go to the filter, go to the noise, add noise. I'm going to go with uh, 19, 20, something like that. Click OK and it's going to add this dramatic look to this, which looks even better, I think. So yeah, basically this was it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.